today I'm gonna to be showing you guys um, some Naturia Runic combos that everyone's been asking me about. Um, this was the deck that I made top 16 with in YCS Vegas. So I figure I show you guys some of the lines that I've been doing and maybe this will help you learn the deck as well. Um, and if you guys are interested in more Naturia Runic content, then let me know in the comment section below what else I can show you to help you learn the deck. So let me start off with some really um, simple combos that was doing the tournament during the tournament and then we can go into some of the more advanced lines and if you want to see more combos and let me know because there's like a million possibilities with these hands since um, the deck really utilizes all five cards of your hands and and the cards you draw to to you know make its end board uh, so but let me just kind of like show you some of like the patterns that I see and the combos that I've been doing with the deck let's jump right into it the first one is uh, essentially a Camellia plus a Blessing or Camellia plus a Mole Cricket. It's quite simple. You go Camellia, send Mole Cricket, then use Blessing to bring back Mole Cricket. And then Camellia has an effect that a lot of people kind of don't really read over, which is if you were to tribute a monster to activate an your monster's effect, you can actually mill two cards instead. So it's very similar to Prank Kid Meow Mew, uh, where it replaces... Um, the tribute costs um, and it replaces it with a mill two instead, right? So in this instance, um, I summon back Mo Cricket off Blessing. I'm going to use Mo Cricket's effect to mill two cards. As you can see, it has a lot of really good synergy with Runic Engine because the Mo Cricket um, off Camellia can actually mill your Runic Engine so you're able to like dig deeper and um, draw more cards as well, right? This Mo Cricket then is going to summon the Sunflower and we're going to use Mo Cricket and Camellia to make a Nappies. And then use Mole Cricket's effect to bring itself back, right? So this was off two cards, and you might be wondering, like, how good is this board, right? A lot of the, you know, comments that I've been getting is that, oh, your opponent summons a friend here and just beats this board, right? Um, which is kind of ignorant because it's obviously not that simple. I did a lot of, like, um, analyzing on how and why this board is so effective, right? So your opponent can't activate spells at this point. It's pretty, pretty much turned off. If your opponent summons a friend here... Right. Let's say they summon a Frenier. Because Frenier is 2400 attack, Mole Cricket can actually tribute itself for cost on your opponent's turn and summon two Naturia monsters instead, right? So here I summon double Camellia and use Camellia to send another Sacred Tree and get follow-up. So now I have Blessing for follow-up. And now if they if they enter a battle phase with Frenier, they can attack over either Nappies or Sunflower. The issue is Camellia says whenever your opponent normals or special as a monster. I can reborn back the Nappies or the Sunflower that they kill, and they can use Frenier's effect on attack declaration because I can just negate the effect of Frenier by milling two cards because I control Camellia. Um, and as you can see, like having double Camellia there means um, they can't just beat over one of the Camellia and turn off Sunflower, kind of. Um, and I also get follow up there. So it's kind of like a nice little um, checkmate that you put your opponent in. And what's really cool is that if you hard draw Blessing, then it super doesn't matter what they attack over because Blessing just revives back the Naturia immediately. Um, you can also see this end board is kind of like what I was going for because um, if you hard draw Blessing, you can actually hard make a, a Barkeon on your opponent's battle phase by using Camellia and Sunflower, um, which revives back Mole Cricket um, and negate evenly match as well. So a lot of really cool things you can do um here with just two cards um and then maybe three of you hard draw an extra blessing and that's the main reason why i decided to play three blessing in my ycs list is because hard draw this card makes your board way more um uh, way more sticky for your opponent to like beat over now let's, let's look at another replay where in this case um you realize you're gonna be playing against a trap deck right and i think that's one of like the things that people were like well how do you make like, how do you make Barkeon? Well, it's very similar to the first combo. Um, we're going to go Camellia, send, add Blessing, mill two. As you can see, I'm milling, like, two Runics, <laughs> summon Sunflower. And here, you can just make Barkeon, okay? So, you have Barkeon, Mole Cricket, okay? It's really, really hard for the Labyrinth deck to deal with this card, to be quite honest. And if you have Blessing, you can actually revive back Barkeon. So, whenever you hard draw a Blessing, it's, like, really good. Now... You can see here, if I hard draw a blessing here, you can actually do something really cool is you can actually make nappies first, bring back mole cricket, then blessing back camellia, um, and then use camellia and sunflower to make barkeon. 
What's even cooler is um, if you take it a step back, um, when you had Camellia and Sunflower on the board, I'm sorry, you can actually hold the blessing in your hand, set it, and pass with Sunflower, Mole Cricket, Beast. Um, if you realize your opponent's setting five, you can actually go Mole Cricket tagging the Camellia in their turn, send another Sacred Tree, get another follow piece, and at end phase, you can actually use Naturia Blessing to quick synchro into a Barkeon and then bring back Mole Cricket again. Um, so you can see that, like, you know, the, the power of, like, you know, like Blessing the, and the Naturia Engine and why I think it was, like, really, really good. Um, and this board was achieved quite a lot, to be quite honest. And um, even though it seems like, oh, it's a two-card combo, you also have to factor in the fact that with your Runic Engine, you're drawing a lot, a lot, a lot of cards. And so... Um, even though it seems like it's a two-card combo, um, you actually draw many pieces of this combo as you keep playing. I mean, it's quite easy to, like, you know, do this. So, yeah. Now, let's see if I can show you guys a runic combo where you open one runic card, any runic card, plus one sacred tree, right? And so, sacred tree, you know, might be a brick um, in other versions of Naturia, but... In the runic version, it's really nice because it's a free discard of Hugin, right? So you see right here, I'm going to add Fountain um, and then add Mole Cricket. I'm going to summon Mole Cricket, tag itself out into Camellia. Camellia is going to send Sacred Tree, add Blessing, okay? At this point, I have a bunch of options. I can Reborn back the Mole Cricket, make Nap Beast, Reborn back Mole Cricket, and then pass here if I choose to. But I can also just go for a Charge Warrior to draw a card. Now, at this point, what's really nice about this is that if you draw any runic card, um, you get two free draws, right? So that's something to factor in as well. I think um, because I play 15 Rooney cards, the odds of opening two is quite high. It's about 50%, maybe a little bit more. Um, but in the hands that you open in one Rooney card, this gives you a chance to, you know, draw into your engine to see maybe a second Rooney. Um, and that is really nice because now, like here, if I activate Fountain, I can draw way more cards, right? So now you can bring back Camellia again, make Baron. Activate Blessing, and you see right here that I have Barone up with, like, uh, Freezing Curses and Slumber, right? So, from a, from, like, a board perspective, this board plays around Evilly Match, it plays around Evilly Match, um, plays around Lava Golem, plays around Sphere Mode, plays around a lot of stuff, um, and this is, like, one of the conservative boards you can make, and if your opponent outs Barone the Fleur, um, you still have a Mole Cricket for follow-up as well, right? So, if they summon anything from their Extract, you can bring back Mole Cricket, tag out Mole Cricket into, like, Camellia and Sunflower, if they control the highest attack monster, which I assume they will because that means they outed the Barone in some way. Um, and you still have Freezing Curses and two draws in their turn, right? So, um, it's the, I mean, this is off two cards, um, as you as you can see here. Now, um, let us let me show you a, you know, a more advanced combo. Um, this is if you open, like, you know, there's a bunch of, like, three-card, four-card combos. So, like I said, if you guys want to see more test, maybe test hands or, or the three-card, four-card combos, what you should do. Um, because during the tournament, um, I executed my plays really fast. I think anyone who watched me play or anyone during the tournament who played against me will, will know that I played quite fast um, because I have a lot of these lines kind of already figured out prior to the tournament. And I think one of the biggest critiques about playing Runic Engine and not having a battle phase is that you go into time quite a lot. Um, well, that wasn't an issue for me, quite frankly. I, barely, I never went into time. Um, and in times that I did go into time were games I either were going to lose already or win already. Um, so, you know, I can't really blame it on time when I was going to lose the game regardless, even though I did win at the time. And then the game that I won, um, where, where I was higher in life, those games were already like very much in my favor. So it didn't really matter, but, but it's important to play fast with this deck and know the combos, you know, um, because game ones and twos, you need to play really, really fast. So you don't lose in time game three, but enough of that rant. Let me show you this three card combo here. I open any Rooney card plus, um, plus uh sacred tree and blessing right obviously there's other ways to like do this combo because um bless pitching a sacred tree is technically having access to any cherry card in your deck um but it's very very similar so you can camellia here some mole cricket bring back mole cricket mill two and here we're going to summon another camellia from the deck all right so here you can like do something like make charge draw a card um and then make barone and on barone mole cricket you can also do something like uh make nappies and have uh you know, you can also make nappies have coral up. If you're one, if uh, if you have a fourth runic card in your deck, and so you've opened um, two runics um, in that same hand, um, you can actually make coral dragon here, activate fountain, 
Uh, summon the dog. Draw two cards. Technically three because if Mulkrick and Mills any Rooney card, you'll draw an, um, an extra card for free. So you, minimum two cards, maximum three cards draw. Um, and then you can use the Gary and the Coral Dragon to make Barone and draw another card. So you end on Barone, Nappies, Mole Cricket. So this was actually the board I made in top 16, I believe. Um, and I ended up losing because of Lava Gome evenly match. Um, but this is something that is very, very accomplishable, you know, with a four-card combo. Um, but like I said, it the thing with the deck is that there's a lot of ways to like draw into your engine so that like even though it seems like impossible it's like literally this is achievable by any two rooney cards and then two naturia and two pieces of your naturia engine right so if you open two naturia engine which i think the issue that i've seen people do with this deck is they don't really know what to do when they open multiple pieces of naturia cards if you open two naturia cards two rooney cards and then maybe one piece of non-engine like this is like your board um not to mention the fact that i just drew four cards as well in this combo um, but yeah, I hope this guy helps you. Um, I know it's not like uh, the most straightforward deck, but it's really fun. It's really rewarding. I, I like th this deck a lot. It, you know, it was honestly just really, really fun to play, um, this past weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, let, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, it will help the channel greatly and yeah, I'll see you guys.